in this operating system class we will see the cryptography as a security tool and under this topic we will see the encryption and the two types of encryption that is symmetric and asymmetric encryption after that we will see the authentication and key distribution first let us see what is cryptography it is a technique of securing information and the communication through use of codes okay hence the sender and receiver only can understand the message and process it okay thus preventing unauthorized access to the information okay here crypto means hidden and graphy means writing hence cryptography means hidden writing cryptography is actually uh, the sender is here and receiver is here the sender is going to send a message that is a very big normal message okay and that will be given to the receiver but in this original normal message some secret is hidden in this message and only this sender and receiver can understand the secret the other person cannot find any difference in these messages okay so this is called as cryptography in modern cryptography it is based on secret keys and the keys are selectively distributed to computers in the network and used to process the messages that is the sender and receiver are connected through the network through the network the sender and receiver are connected and sorry this is receiver the sender is having its own message and it, they are having a key for sender okay by using the key the sender will encrypt his message and the encrypted cipher text will be transmitted to the internet and the receiver will receive this encrypted cipher text and the receiver will use his key to decrypt this particular message okay then the receiver will get the plain text that is the original text okay right the sender can encode its message so that only the computer with certain key who is having this key the receiver is having isn't it to decode the message okay the receiver can decode the message by using the receiver's key and receiver of the message to verify and use its key to decode the message okay this is what this particular scenario and sometimes the keys that is the secret keys are designed by third parties so it is computationally not feasible to derive uh, from the message that is from this message which they are used for communication or these keys are not uh, possible to take from the public information okay this is the uh, cryptography and next let us see the working of uh, encryption algorithm uh, it consists of a set of keys and a set of messages and a set of cipher text okay here the sender and the receiver are uh, going to share the common key okay this is called as key that is k k is representing this key the key will be shared between sender and receiver that is these two systems will be connected in the internet and a common key will be shared between sender and receiver okay first the plain text that is the secret message is having by sender and the secret message will be encrypted by using the encryption algorithm with the help of encryption key okay after this encryption operation the output will be cipher text only the cipher text will be transmitted from sender system to the receiver system okay in the internet only the cipher text will be transmitted from sender system to receiver system when come to receiver end the receiver will receive the cipher text and he will use this decryption operation that is decryption algorithm with the help of decryption key okay the key will be shared between sender and receiver see after this decryption operation the receiver will get the plain text which is actually the secret message okay this is how the encryption algorithm is working uh, there are two 
types of encryption algorithm first one is symmetric encryption and second one is asymmetric en encryption okay in the symmetric en encryption the same key will be shared between both sender and receiver when come to asymmetric encryption uh, different keys will be shared between sender and receiver okay encryption will be taken place by public key but decryption will be taken place by a separate key which is the receiver is having symmetric key encryption as i already told you a same key which is used for both encryption as well as decryption okay see first the this is the sender side and this is the receiver side okay so a same key will be exchanged between the sender as well as receiver so the sender is having a plain text the plain text will be encrypted by using encryption algorithm with this key okay then the encrypted key that is uh, the cipher text that is the encrypted text will be transmitted in the internet actually the attacker is going to track this particular channel to get the information but the information is actually encrypted now encrypted information so there is no use of the encrypted message with this attacker right when come to receiver side the receiver will use the same key for decrypting this particular uh, uh, cipher text then the plain text will be given to the uh, receiver when come to asymmetric encryption different keys are used for both encryption as well as decryption okay here the public key is used for encryption and the private key is used for decryption okay that is the sender will use public key for encrypting the text and the receiver will use its uh, his own private key uh, for decrypting that text okay see public key and private key are different okay and public key is known by everyone uh, who are connected in the network but the receiver only knows about his own private key okay private key is secret key that uh, each and every user have its own secret key right because the receiver only decode the message right here public keys and uh, private keys will be shared to all the users who are connected in the network separately through a secured channel right this is asymmetric encryption here see this is the sender side the sender will use uh, the public key pk means public key okay public key for encrypting the plain text and the encrypted text will be that is the cipher text will be transmitted through the internet through the internet and this is the receiver side the receiver will use its own private key for decrypting this message and he will get back the original message original message and next let us see the authentication authentication is a process of verifying the identity of a user or the information the user authentication is a process of verifying the identity of a user when that user logs into the computer system okay so when a user logs into a computer system then immediately we need to verify whether the user is authorized user or not okay so this is called as authentication okay here authentication algorithm using symmetric keys which consist of following components which are the components a set of keys a set of messages and a set of authenticators okay and it is also having two functions the first function is s which is for generating the authenticators and second function is v which is for verifying the authenticators whether the uh, user is uh, authorized user or not authorized user if the first function is s Uh, this function is used to, to generate the authenticators from the messages okay that is uh, our users are connected to the internet okay in the net for all users we have to give a separate authentication a separate authentication that is 
only the authorized users can access this particular network resources or only those people can share the messages between each other. For that, we need to test whether these users are authorized users or not. Okay, the very, this is called as authentication. Okay, see, for each user, there is a separate key and with the help of that key, we can generate this particular function for this message. Then this function is called as generating authenticator. Okay, here both S and SK for any key should be efficiently capable functions. And when come to the function B, which will give uh, either true or false. That is, if the user is verified authentic authorized user, then the result will be true. Otherwise, it will give false. Okay. Uh, hence, the function B is called as verifying authenticator function. Up to this, we have seen the cryptography as security tool. Under this topic, we have seen the encryption and the two types of encryption that is symmetric and asymmetric encryption. After that, we have seen this authentication, then the key distribution. For more information, please go through your textbook. And in the next class, we will see another important topic from 5th unit. Thank you.